Wilson here from youdiscovermusic.com and guess what? The boys are back in town. Yep. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist doing it. <laughs> it's cheesy, but there you okay, go. That's okay, that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, how are you doing, Thin Lizzy? Good, good. It's We've good. Uh, done a couple of shows in uh, Germany. Mm, uh, yeah. Uh, one in Barcelona, which was, if you think this is hot, forget about it. Yeah, I can imagine. Wow, it was like, it was hurtful over there. And these are the anniversary tours. It is. It's, it's, uh, oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the guitar player. I don't do, I don't do this, you know. Um, yes, it's uh, 30 years since Phil passed away and 40 years for the uh, Jailbreak album. So we're out here doing these uh, uh, these five shows. That's yeah. all we're doing, five yeah. shows, to kind of you know honor our friend Phil and kind of you know play a few off the Jailbreak album, which so. is incredible. So how how many songs are you going to be performing today then? How many can you squeeze in? I think in our 70 minute set, I think we've got what, 14 songs. 14, 14 songs. And are they all going to be off the Jailbreak album? No, no, no. You're no, going to completely no. mix it up. We yeah. try, try to cherry pick through the you know the whole catalog. Okay, you know? fine. So we are at Rambling Man. Um, what is the best thing that you've seen so far? <laughs> <laughs> All the beautiful, wonderful, warm, fuzzy human beings. They're, yeah. they're all great here. I'd say one thing about this uh, festival uh, this time around. It, it's everybody's so friendly. Everybody's having a great time. And the weather, forget about it. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is Can't indeed. It. And, I, and for me, And feels, I hear the food is great. The food is very good. It's all about the barbecue. And yep. I don't know how you feel about barbecue food. Are you, uh, you, are you good at cooking barbecues? Uh, well, yeah. I finally went out and got a, myself one of those big gas-driven barbecue things and I used it twice and that was it it was I'm, I'm no good at it I'm terrible are you any good at it I'm fantastic at cooking barbecue you're though, a good you're the barbecue yeah. man in the yeah, house so, are you um, <laughs> I, lo I was gonna say my dad whenever he cooks a barbecue he always burns his belly but I look I looked at yours yours isn't as big as his so that's what it is so he'll kill me for saying that but anyway yeah there you go hey dad yeah hi dad sorry um, yeah I mean for me it's like they've seemed to have captured this sort of 70s vibe um, do you, how do you feel about that? Because Scott, I know that maybe you might have been playing some festivals in yeah, the seventies. Yeah, I, just, I <laughs> just made it to the seventies. Oh, just. There, right? do, but, you, do you do you think it feels like that? Uh, it feels a lot more organized. Yeah. Than the than the festivals we used to do in the seventies. It, so it's it was a little bit more chaotic back then. You know, fly by the seat of your pants a little bit, right? Where these days, you know, so many people show up. Uh, and, and really want a great time. All the organizers really have their stuff together, so that's a that's a big difference right there. So they've just taken the good bits of the 70s, yeah. which is not a bad thing at all. Um, so you mentioned it's the 40th anniversary of the Jailbreak album. Why why do you think that album has influenced so many people and has sort of really stood the test of time? You know, so to, to be completely honest, I have no idea, right? But uh, <laughs> I really yeah. don't, but uh, you know, it did have the you know the big international hit. Boys are back in town. Yeah. Uh, you know the, 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 the title track, Jailbreak. Uh, it had a lot going for it. Yeah, uh, well, quite a few hits on there. We yeah. did, we did. And I hear actually, talking about the boys are back in town, that you might have someone joining you on stage for that tonight. Yes, we've got uh, Midge here coming up and playing. Uh, Midge has been a great friend of mine for wow, 35 years yeah. now. Yeah. And uh, when we had a problem on that one particular uh, American tour, Midge, hand up, says, I'll come out, I'll help you guys out. And he flew straight out and uh, finished the rest of the tour with him, right? So he was great. Is he here already then? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a little rehearsal backstage here and kind of kind of hone in on everything. You're gonna rehearse backstage? Yeah, with what? all the what? chaos. Oh my God, that's insane. <laughs> I've only heard that what I've only heard that once where I've heard bands rehearsing backstage just before they go and that's because Metallica lost their drummer at Download Festival but I've never yeah okay how come you're doing it now and not not before well you know Midge you know I, he wants a you know a couple of go throughs with uh, with the songs he's going to uh, going to be playing and they're, to be quite honest with all with these five festivals that we're doing there's such a, a long amount of time in between festivals yeah it's more it's not really a rehearsal it's more of like a refresher kind of thing just a little jam yeah. kind of thing yeah. so what songs is he going to be playing on he's going to be doing the cowboy song and the boys are back in town brilliant okay wicked i can't wait it's going to be amazing <laughs> that's going to be fun 